Hello, it's Julie Rothel here. Um, I uh, have gone live on the Bloom's Art House page, I hope. Fingers crossed. This is my first live on this page. Um, I decided to come on and do a little quick studio tour for you today. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Julie Rothel. Um, I'm one of the Bloom's Art House artists and this February I have taken over the Bloom's Art House page as uh, the Artist of the Month. So this month I'm going to be introducing um, my style of artwork to you. Um, I paint with quite an unusual medium. I paint with beeswax, um, hot molten beeswax, which is called encaustic wax painting. So that's what I do. Um, I That's what I've been doing for the last 10 years. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's the most beautiful medium. So I thought I'll give you a quick tour of my little studio here and show you where I work from. I've got my hot plate fired up, so I'll show you that in a minute as well. Um, so yeah, let me turn this around. It's quite a little, I'm in a little small space right now. So I have got, this is my workspace that I'm working at at the moment. I used to have a really big studio, so this has been a real, um, yeah, real change for me. So I've had to really downsize everything. Um, so I've got all of my, I love, but when I'm creating, I tend to be really everything everywhere, but I do like things to kind of have their home and uh, and go back to. So I've got all of my, my this is my art supplies. So I paint with wax. This is wax in its um, cooled state and it's really solid, really, well, actually it won't even lift off. It's actually, until I heat that, it, you know, you can see it's lifting the, um, the actual pan up with it. So, um, this is my hot plate that I have over here in the corner. So this um, wax at the moment has been on for probably 10, 15 minutes and it's just about coming up to temperature now. So um, I love this hot plate. It has such a great steady thermos thermostat on it. You can use different versions and different models that are less expensive, but this one is fabulous for that. I literally just turn it on. I know my waxes aren't going to overheat. Um, and then once it's in this molten state, I can just paint as I would any other painting. Um, and so this is a piece that I was working on recently. Um, that I'd started working on. So from there, I would, I can't hold my phone and my, um, my paintings and my brushes all at the same time as we've got a bit of a walking tour. But throughout the month, I'll be sharing more and more of this with you. Um, I'd say the, the, it takes quite a long time to come up to, th to temperature on this hot plate. So this, is actually wax in its mold in its solid state. The heat hasn't come through for long enough yet to bring that up, but that will will be molten in a little while. Um, I have my thermometer on, which is essential, and that makes sure that my wax doesn't overheat. Although I I do know that with this uh, thermostat, it, it it just doesn't do that. It keeps it below the the temperature, but I still like to keep an eye on it and check. I've got all my waxes here. Um, you know. Pots and pens and all sorts of things. I've got so many different uh, pieces tucked away. And then I've got all of my art all stacked over here. Um, I've got some up on walls. I've been doing a series of interviews recently, so it's all a bit out and all over the place. So these are, I'll show you some of my art pieces. So this is painted in, in the style with the, the hot plate over there. Um, you know, I've got portraits. I have abstracts, but I don't know if you can see how... That wax looks you can really kind of work with layers underneath and it has this beautiful beautiful sheen to it um and an awful lot of text oops awful lot of texture as well um it's really hard and robust once it's solidified so it all gets painted on when it's molten but it's just the most glorious if you can see the sheen of the light reflecting there as well so sometimes i paint on wooden supports um Sometimes I paint on paper. So the paper ones tend to need to be framed. Um, let me show you a couple of examples. So this is one that has been painted on paper and obviously I need I need to um, to frame that. So this is kind of a, land, a bit of a fantasy landscape piece. Um, this was actually painted with an iron, as was this one. So yeah, all painted with an iron. So these are all kind of out and displayed all over my studio because of the interviews that I've been doing. Because I've been sitting in my chair doing the, uh, um, doing the interviews and, uh, you know, holding them up to camera while I've been doing that. So I did an interview with Steve Brooks and I did an interview with 
Sammy Hexter Andrews. So if you haven't seen those, if you click through to my profile, you can you can watch the replays of those. They're quite um, show you some more with the techniques as well. So um, today's live is just quite short. I'm going to do a series of um, different content throughout the month, throughout February. I'm going to share with you a little bit about the history of encaustic wax. Uh, I will do some demos. I've actually got some time lapses that I'll put up today um, showing you time lapses of me creating some portraiture um, style work uh, and live drawing, that kind of thing. Um, and then throughout the month, I will also do some live painting. So I'll show you how I paint. So I paint with a number of tools. I've shown you the hot plate. Oh, hang on, let me turn this around. I'll show you how I paint with an iron. Um, a series of uh, my heat gun is essential. I'll show you how I paint with that and fuse my pieces. Got lots of little. These are the ones done on paper, and they are just beautiful. Um, they're quite. They're quite a different style to the ones that are painted on the wooden boards, but nonetheless still beautiful. So this has been. Um, and you can you can start off really simply with with abstract pieces, but if you can see how the colours are really zinging and and popping, um, but they've all been painted with with a painting iron, craft iron. So um, I'll I'll do some demos of those, and I, my other essential tool that I love is my stylus. It's a beautiful tool. So there's some really really great ways to paint with wax. Um, oops, let me turn this back around again. And I'll be sharing all of those with you throughout the month of February. So, um, yes, hopefully you'll find... Lighting is terrible today. Hopefully you'll find some interesting um, information. And feel free to ask me any questions. Come back and pop them in the comments below. Um, and I will then, the next time I do a live, come on and, and try and answer this for you. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this introduction to my style of painting. Um, yeah, and I'll be sharing more throughout the month. Anyway, take care. Thanks for joining. Bye.